different kinds of point cutting, and then some texture right over your shield. Make the other straight line, thin the line out. Does that make sense? Because then you will know the difference. Does that make sense? It's nothing like using some tools and you're doing it because somebody say doing it, but you really don't know what you're looking for. It's kind of doing it because they say do it. What exactly does the texture right this year do? What am I really looking for? I'll just look fancy. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't know the effect I'm looking for. Am I trying to reduce bulk because the hair is too heavy? Am I trying to blend because I still see the weight line? Am I trying to add some texture to create movement? What is movement? What is texture? Does that make sense? All those type of things I want you to be assured about. Because I was probably in the business 10 years before I even knew what people were talking about with that. Does that make sense? And it cost me a lot of money to go back and learn it. Cool? Are yeah, you going to learn everything today? No. Are we jumping ahead of the curve a little bit? Yes, but sometimes on Friday and Saturday I could do that. I could give you a little bit more than usual. Cool? So the first thing I do is I take my shears out. I spray my shears with these. I don't spray my shears with this. Too much lubricant in it. So what I do is I spray it with this, let it sit for a few minutes, and this has no oil in it. And what we're going to do here in the back, when you're cutting a, a client, uh, i.e. banking, I don't want to have it tilted any kind of way, right? So what I want to do is I want to make sure the mannequin's pushed in, the head is totally straight, but then if I'm working on the, on the bottom part here, I want to tilt the head back just a little bit, tilt it up just a little bit, right? So then I come here, and I'm going to go straight line because we're going to work in rows. So I'm going to come straight across here at about an inch. and get it out of the way. Nice and clean. Get it out of the way. Straight across. So I go here, got my finger over here, and I'm trying to go straight across. Now, the reason why you want to keep that line as straight as possible, because if it's off any kind of way, your initial guidelines will be off. If your initial guidelines gonna be off, the rest of that, that hair section is gonna be off. All right. So now that I have this, and I'm pretty straight. I mean, there's certainly some people who like to get real, real clean. That's totally up to you, right? I feel like I'm gonna cut it pretty good balance. Mm -hmm. Now, notice how this line goes here. So that's the middle of the head. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make my first section that big. So I'm gonna take this. Get it out of the way. Hold what I need here, get it out of the way. So now I'm starting in the middle. And I, I comb, I comb, comb all the kinks out, make it straight. And notice what I'm doing, it's a trick. I take the comb, I put my fingers right above the comb so it's flush, but now I'm pulling and pushing at the same time so that keeps the hair nice, tight, and neat. And then I slide my comb out, all right? So I'm gonna do it again, comb, 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 make sure it's nice and neat and tight. Then I take that comb and I push it with my fingers. And notice before I take it out, I'm gonna take about it that much off, but notice how I'm looking at the guideline, straight across, because the comb don't bend. So I don't gotta worry about it being off because I'm gonna use it as my guideline right there. Somebody give me that. And I'm gonna come straight across. And then I'm gonna double check it. If I did it right, mm -hmm. it should all come out the comb at the same pace. Mm -hmm. If it's not, I cut a little bit more. But that's pretty good. You see how it mm -hmm. all comes out together, nothing straggled. Mm -hmm. Right? So now I know my initial guideline, the middle of her head is good. Now all I do is take a little bit of left and a little bit of right. There's my guideline. I comb, 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 make sure it's all neat. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And when it comes out all even at the end, boom, I just match it. Now, same thing, I, I can drop some of this because I don't need it, but I got to keep some of that. Now I take the last part of it, comb, comb, comb. Notice I'm not going here, I'm not going here, and I'm not going here. I got to keep everything at the same elevation. Nice and neat down. Boom, take it out. Cut, cut, cut. Now, that side's done. Now, I take a little bit of the middle, and do the same thing over here. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Now, all of it. 
Don't get any of that. Get all of this down here. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Now, this is all neat and even. And I cut it straight across. That's called zero elevation. It makes a blunt line. No feather, no nail. Now, what I want you to do, everybody take about an inch off first. You don't want to jump into these mannequins and take that much. Because you can probably get 10, 12 haircuts out of this. But if you cut too much, you're cutting away the opportunity to learn. So now what I want you to do is grab it. Who's up? Straight razor hair shave. Okay. All right, watch this. Video, we'll video for you, Jay. Now, grab it, and here's what I want you to do. Same thing, now I want you to go. See the difference? A straight line versus point cutting. Then I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna point cut that one. So even though we have an even haircut, now we have some texture, which helps it blend better. A lot of people will teach you to go right in and blend. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But I wanna make sure all barbers can at least make a straight line first. Does that make sense? Yes. And then I go on this side. So now, that's point cutting, and I'm doing it right next to each other. Because it was right next to each other, you just see a little texture, but watch this. So that's step two. Now I want you to grab the same line, and now I want to see you go chunky. Okay. A lot more heavier texture, especially if they got thick hair. All right? See the difference? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the same thing here. And this is all point cutting, but now it's, it's heavier texture. And I'm telling you, it makes a difference in hair cutting. And this is one you say, I can't believe that person paid $200 for a haircut. It's because whoever did their hair did such a precision custom cut, and then it would add different chunks in different places where you can't duplicate it. It's like an artist at work. Does that make sense? So now that's heavy texture. Look at that. Even though we know it's actually an even haircut, it's all blunt, but it's not blunt like a seven-year-old girl. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because a seven-year-old girl, they want it, their moms want it just straight across. Yeah. But we added some texture to it. Yeah. All right, so now I want you to do it through one more. We're going to go up another inch. How you doing, sir? Give me some of that. Why are you so flat today, man? I'm just a simple guy, man. man. Now, that's on all zero elevation. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do it again. But now I want you, the first one was an inch. Now I want you to take half an inch. All right, and we're going to do it again. All the same thing. Jacob, you need something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you at MH, mm -hmm. will you take a look at M uh, uh, Jacob's haircut for me? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. now, so now, will you take a look at Jacob's haircut? You can put it right here, look. I just want you to look at it and play with it. Do the ends. And watch, I want you to watch, don't watch the hair, watch it here and you'll see what it looks like. So I have a hard line. Look, 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 look at that, you see it? Mm -hmm. Every other hair is being cut. So, and that's what you use. You can also create texture with that, but mostly it's for blending. All right, so I want you to go across that and really look at it. Look at it and just see the difference. Because you don't want to be doing something that don't make sense. So I can see that, look. Every other hair has been cut. Isn't that kind of like the, the, you know, you're cut from the It is, one. it is, but they're closer together. Mm -hmm. And I want you to play with it where you can make a difference on what you want to do. Now if I'm doing it on the ends, <coughs> if I'm doing it up here, on the outside of the hair, <coughs> that's for blending and a little texture. Oh. Underneath, from mid-shaft, any amount of hair, I don't care if it's long or short. If it's from mid-shaft up, it's reducing weight. If it's from here up, it's creating texture. So that was creating texture, a movement, or blending. Now here, 
is weight. And what that does, it takes out some of the weight of the hair. So the hair is too thick, I can go in, chop, chop, remove weight. So now it moves better. So if I got somebody like Gabe or his whose hair is super thick and it won't move like I want it to, I can go in and take a little weight. It doesn't change how high the hair is, but it takes some weight and now it moves better. You got it? So from mid shaft here, it's weight. Underneath here, it's texturizing or blending. And then I want you to go there and I want you to try this. Let's play. I really want you guys to play. So now we did that. Now I want you to go diagonal. Oh, excuse me. And play. Thank you so much. Thank you. And just play. I do. It's coming. It's coming. All right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So knit and I went diagonal. Mm -hmm. I create. I, I, I took out weight. I played with the ends. But then there's also sliding people do. Mm -hmm. People like to slide. You, it's called slicing. You see what works for you. Play with it. This is when your hair coach goes to the next level. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because you're doing things that the average person ain't doing. Yes. Well, I think, I think they're, they're fascinating you with the idea of doing it. Versus telling you why. Why am I sliding that? Why am I elevating that? And all of this is on zero. And you see from where we started, look at that. It's very different. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you, that's all zero. It's already parted in fours, but now I'm gonna take this and put a Mohican part in the middle. Same, same width. So now. Coach, I see people that they do like a horseshoe party. Uh, horseshoe part is what I told me would be very popular with the clipper work. Uh -huh. Horseshoe, Mohican, and four quadrants is going to be your, your, your three most that you'll use a lot in hair cutting. Okay. Uh, the Mohican, because you're going to do all your clipper work on the sides. Most mm -hmm. times you don't work on uh, clipper cuts. And then we get to the side of the Parada Ridge up the horseshoe. All right? So now I'm going to do the same thing. Is this helpful? Yeah. yeah. So now I got it all wet. And now I'm gonna take from the middle of the nose. That's how I know I'm in the middle. Every time I wanna find out the middle, I just go to the middle of the nose. I'm gonna take here. I'm gonna take here. Get it out of the way. Now, if I was cutting zero, mm -hmm. I would be here. Mm -hmm. We already did that, mm -hmm. right? But I'm gonna do a little bang anyway. Give me a little zero there. But if we're not gonna work on zero, we're gonna work on 90. So I can give me a little bit. I'm gonna use his nose as my reference point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reason, will you help me with that music? It keeps going on and off again. So that was zero. But mm -hmm. see, now 90 is where the hair lives on the head, mm -hmm. straight out like a bicycle spoke. Okay. So instead of us going zero, we're gonna go straight up. 90. All right, so I'm gonna go here first, and that's at the apex of the head. Apex is the top round part of the head. I mean, make sure where, 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 where the knot is. So now I'm gonna go here, and what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take about an inch. You got it? Notice how I'm not letting it go. <coughs> the next part, take it back a little. Yep, take my guide with me, see it? Yes, sir. All right, now look, watch this. Before I let it go, take my phone, hook some of my guidelines, and drop that hair. I'm never gonna lose my guidelines, I'm always hooking it before I let it go. So now, go back to the middle where you started. So if I lost it up here, I just comb the hair down and go back here where I started. And I find it again. Yes, wherever you put it in first, go back to that. So now I have it in my hands. That's my dial line. Now if you notice, I'm gonna round to the head now. There it is again. Notice I'm starting gently. All right. Let it go. And then now right here in the middle. So as you're going to like the front of the forehead, do you start meeting like following where the hair is at? Huh? So like, you know how you like run from like right here? 
Following the, the head shape, right? Yes, that's a 90. I'm on the head shape. 180 when I hold it straight up. Mm -hmm. Alright, all sides straight up. Okay. So now we know that this is like a globe. Yeah. Because it's like just like his head. Mm -hmm. So now I go back and check it. See it? Then when I go here, it should be the same way. There's a little bit hanging out. Look at that. Check my work. Let it go. And then there it is. That's why I started right there. Whenever they say cross checking, is it when you do it like the other way? So like yeah, you cross this way? I cut it this way, uh -huh. and then cross check over this way. Okay. All right? So now we know that's all a 90. 90 elevation. Mm -hmm. That creates layers. That's gonna be the most popular elevation you use in haircut. Got it? Now, now that we have the straight line. Now, point cutting. I want you to point cut it. Point cut is protection, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Now we did it. We did it close together. Now let's make it a little chunky. Heavy texture. All right. Give me those texturizing shears. So you imagine doing that all over the head. You see the texture. It doesn't just lay flat on top of each other. Because when I'm done with it, when I'm done with it like this, I'm all over the head, when it starts to lay, you're gonna see this all over the head versus this all over the head. $30 haircut, $60 haircut. <laughs> Does that make sense? It doubles because I added these extra techniques. Got it? So once we do the heavy, we're gonna go back. Cut off what we just did. Sorry. <laughs> Not touch right. Matthew, you good? Is that it? Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. And now let's play. Check our weight down here. When I say weight, look, nothing up here changes. The length of the hair is the same, but they got heavy hair, so I'm gonna take out some weight. Taking the belly. Yep. <laughs> yep. Boom. You got the weight coming out. Then go play on top. Go play. See what it does. You wouldn't want to go more than twice, right? Uh, I, I don't typically. I, I don't like to have hard rules. Yeah. Because textures change so much, your hair is so thick, I might need to go more. Yeah. Find a hair, probably once. So I kind of like to know and pay attention. But one thing I will tell you for sure, I don't care who hair it is, don't go down there. If I go this far down here, I'm guaranteed to plug them. Plug them. Like it's going to be gappy down there. I'm, I'm going to pull a plug in here if I go way down here. I mean, you can grab one of the old managers and do it, but when you go too far down here by the base of the head, you're going to take too much, of the, too much of the weight out. It's going to be really good in your chunk. It's skinny. So I suggest, if it's that long, go half it up. But don't go down there. You got it? Yeah. Any, 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 any uh, question? I'm going to do one last thing, and then I'm going to let you guys have fun. Hit that in the middle. See? See mm -hmm. right there. So now I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. Don't let it go. Next area. Don't let it go. It's gently going down. Don't let it go. The whole key is to grab it with that comb in your fingers and don't let that guideline go. And if you do, like 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 uh, Kubu was saying, go back and find it. So whenever you're doing like uh, you're cutting. Um, is that comb? Is that comb and the smaller comb, the finer comb, the ones you? Uh, you gotta find your friend. The one is not your taper comb. Okay. You gotta find your friend. Uh, I can tell you the most cosmetologists are taught to use their all-purpose combs. So you'll see seventy percent of people use all-purpose combs. Mm -hmm. They got different levels. Mm -hmm. They those combs can go up to hundred bucks. 
Then you got some people like um, thicker combs. Mm -hmm. You got to see what feels good to you, but don't just go by because somebody said. Mm -hmm. Learn with that one and play with the rest. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I always leave your brain open to mm -hmm. learning different ways mm -hmm. because if you get stuck and say coach said and you make that the law, two years from now when some advanced style or somewhere is trying to teach you something different, your brain is still going to be stuck, coach said, but if you leave it open and say different people do different things, mm -hmm. but at least what a coach is going to try to do is give you, well not just coach, coach Yasha, Tab, who's ever here is trying to give you a solid foundation, mm -hmm. just somewhere to, to start from. Does that make sense? Right. So now that I have good bang, mm -hmm. now I want you to go in there and play. Mm -hmm. What's that one technique that you just like, you like put the shoe, like you hold your hair up and then you just like pick at it? Uh, that right there is a, a combination between, um, it's texturizing for sure. Let me sure we talk about the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's also slicing. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jill, that's my stuff over there. You can move that. I was, I was digging through this into my stuff. You can move, move it to over there. Look. That one. All right, everybody got it? Yeah. So we have four or five things you can play with in the back with zero. And you have four or five things here in the front with 90 to play with. If you get courageous and say, okay, cool. Then you move from here and start going section by section by section. But, but I would suggest just starting there and play as much as you want to. Okay. Cut as much as you want. What I don't want you to do is go past about four inches. Do not go past four inches. Leave us that much to play with for later. Okay. All right. It's the same thing all the way 